Bloomberg and meteorologist Christy Gordon with a look at our weather forecast on this uh, as we wrap up spring break for most kids or for many kids anyway, Christy. Yeah, and the majority ain't going back to school next week just as temperatures warm up and the sun comes back out, unfortunately. So more details on the timeline of that. Uh, Sophie, last night was night number two of a beautiful display by the Aurora Borealis. I'm told that again tonight we could see it. So if you have clear skies in your area, check it out. It's being viewed from right across the province. Uh, so thank you to everyone who shared photos with us. It seems to be mostly green from last night. Uh, the first night that we had it on Thursday, uh, sorry, on Wednesday night was a little bit stronger the solar flare was a little bit stronger that gave it the purple hue but there were a few areas especially towards northern BC so this is uh, Mackenzie for example where they did see that beautiful purple hue which is quite rare. Uh, here's a look at tomorrow we are expecting a chance of showers across the lower mainland you can see that up to the Chilcotin region it's going to be cold enough tomorrow morning we could see some wet flurries certainly if you're traveling up to Whistler or the mountain passes expect snow on the mountain passes but it will be very isolated in nature you can see how spotty it is here on the future cast. So certainly some sunshine in the mix, but it won't be that warm tomorrow. Highs will reach only 5 degrees and through the central interior for the southern interior region, you will be at 9 degrees and that's the case for the south coast area. So typically for this time of year we'd warm up to about 11. So 9, 8, 9 is certainly chilly for this time of year and especially through the morning or overnight period tonight. So if you're going to check out the Aurora Borealis 2 degrees overnight tonight certainly will be chilly, but Sophie, as you can see there's sunshine in store for us beyond that. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Christy. Meteorologist Christy Gordon now with a look at that weather forecast and what a show Mother Nature's been putting on these last couple of nights, Christy. We've been so lucky. Yeah, so very strong solar uh, activity happening. This is second night in the row that we've seen beautiful colors. And I am I understand, according to Space Weather Canada, that we could see it again tonight. So if you have some clear skies, make sure you check it out. It was viewed from all corners of the province. This shot from Jennifer Dawn in the 108-mile area. Actually, she was between 108 miles, she said, and Lac La Hache. But stunning colors. The typical sort of green and red colors were viewed last night. But there were a few isolated areas that saw that very rare sort of pinky purple and what that happens or the pinky purple is only apparent actually when there's a very strong solar flare or solar activity uh, and we were we were able to see that last night in a few areas we certainly were on Wednesday night now today we've had scattered showers across the region and they've been really intense so downpours of rain downpours of hail have been reported across the region although no lightning strikes we are expecting a similar pattern as we head into tomorrow a very unstable air mass across the area and uh, so we are expecting some breaks here and there especially across Vancouver Island but keep in mind we still do have a chance of showers throughout the day and it's going to be cold enough that we have the potential for wet flurries early tomorrow morning freezing levels are going to be low enough great news for the local mountains not great news if you're traveling anywhere east of Hope or up towards Whistler you can absolutely expect snowfall in those uh, mountain passes again conditions are going to be very spotty you'll see some breaks of blue sky but it will remain unsettled today even into our uh, Sunday, we have a little bit of instability still lingering, although Sunday is going to be a trend towards more sunshine, that's for sure. A high of only 8 degrees is definitely cool for this time of year. Typically, we'd be up to about 11. We are going to rebound in temperature as we head into next week. Kids head back to school under sunny skies and warmth. Tonight, central windows weather window coming to you from Mackenzie, where it's one of the areas where they were able to catch that rare purple hue in the night sky with the northern lights. So, back to you. So beautiful. Thank you, Christy. An artist who 